how we played in the first two games. We kind of let them sneak back into it in the third. Um, I feel, you know, even even looking at the end of that, like I know my assistant looked over and said we're the better team, and, and regardless of what happened that third game, we're pretty confident. How do you I feel pretty good? How do you feel about the season so far? Uh, again, I think it goes right back to the fact that we're, we're having a great time. I mean, 14 and 2 now, and 3 and 0 in conference, undefeated at home. We can't get much better than that. So, kind of living a little bit of a dream with 14 freshmen and 15 freshmen, and just kind of hoping that that our our momentum keeps going. Now it seems like Tatiana is uh, anchoring that first uh, front row for you guys pretty well. Yeah, you can't you can't beat a kid like that. I think that her and Brisha Mangum have yeah. been just absolutely stellar. Sydney Brozovich played outstanding tonight. Um, I think credit goes to the three of those guys, and and then Shelby, of course, for getting the ball. Yeah. Uh Yeah, it's not even close. Um, you know, they're second year of their program, um, kind of up and coming. They're, you know, feel bad for the kids. Like, that's just, they just don't even compare, and that's got to be a tough match for them. So, um, our kids showed a little bit of discipline in the first two games. Um, you know, to, to kind of put them away, it's hard to stay focused on a match like that. But, um, third game, you know, finally finish it off. But definitely, you want to see them. want to see them throw a team down if you can. Start to finish. Yep. Medically, you're going to have to speak to her on that as far as being able to go. Um, it does look like we're going to be looking at trying to get her a retro this year. Um, but, you know, as far as her retro, I, mean, I, can, I can tell her the fact that she has finished for the So, a, a huge loss. Um, our, our captain and our leader and somebody that we're going to miss terribly, but I'll tell you right now, we didn't get her um, six kids to play. We did 14 or 15 kids to play. You know, if you walk on team, it gets up. We're a team because we're a team, not because of one thing. And she's very much a part of it, but it's sorely missed on the court. But you know what she, she, what, she yeah, what she adds to, to the team is, is a lot for sure. How do you feel about the tournament? You know we're so excited to, to kind of face off with some of the best in the nation. Um, I think that both NJC is, is a fantastic team. Um, Adams, really Colorado, and then we're so excited to, to jump against Western and Nebraska and kind of see what we got. Um, I don't, I don't know if it's a win for us or not. Um, obviously, if it is, it's going to be a nice feather in our cap. Right now, it's just how do we fit so this is where we can up, how do we match up, um, and how do we go against Casper almost beat Western Casper last night, so our match next Tuesday is going to be exciting for sure. Uh, have you got any words for your team going on the road, just to stay focused, or have you mentally prepared? You know, we're, we're not a bad road team. Um, we, we travel, I think we travel as well as anybody in the nation. Um, I think that they are... They're a team that likes to be together. So road is you know, almost like we could be with our family for the first time. You know I mean? like here, there's more distractions from school, I feel like, than there are on the road. Um, we, we like it. Um, it's not never easy to be away from school. We love this home gym. Um, there's obviously the other advantage here. We're undefeated here. We're planning on going undefeated. You know, pastors are kind of your bump in the road if, if anybody's going to be. And, and we're going to bring it to them, 20th and the 27th. So that's, you know, those are the matches left.